Greetings. Welcome back. This is another project update video for the capstone. Um, it's going to so it's going to be a bit shorter, but nonetheless, I think it's very important that I address this. Um, this is just discussing quickly uh, what I do for research uh, on my project. Um, as previously mentioned, this is for uh, the board game, which is obviously heavily based on um, medieval times uh, and things of that nature. So, uh, obviously it's going to be very important for me to make sure that it's going to accurately portray uh, medieval times. So. I think the research is obviously going to be something that's very important to show and uh, what what I've looked into in order to get my information. Uh, so to start out, the first thing I did was just go online. Uh, as you can see here, uh, you know, you get an endless information base, if I could zoom there, oh, wrong way, there we go. Just sites like these, um, obviously you can use Google to find uh, or act as your gateway rather to your information just to start out. Um, and it did give me a sort of base information when I was first starting out the project. Uh, but as I got into more detailed things to research, uh, I decided to pick up some nonfiction historical reading just to sort of get more in depth into it. These were the two books here that I picked up. The first one is probably my favorite of the two, The Middle Ages. Uh, as you can see there, a popular history. One thing I do like about this book in particular is its ability to uh, comprehensively tell essentially the story of the Middle Ages um, starting with the fall of the Roman Empire in chapter 1 all the way down to uh, the very end at the edge of the uh, Renaissance there. As you can see there, there's only 10 chapters, uh, plus the bibliography and the index, obviously. There are not many pictures or anything, so if you're into um, any, if you're more of a visual person, you might be more interested in uh, something with a little more pictures. Same thing goes for this one. Uh, not a lot of pictures or anything. In fact, I don't even think it has any maps. This one, this one does have maps. This one here, but they they both explain feudalism, which is what I wanted to know about in a very uh, particular way that helps me to better understand, so that I can apply its concepts to my game, which is what was really important for me. So that's what I've done for research. Uh, up until this point, um, there's yeah, there's not a lot, but like I said, the internet there was many different sites. I I couldn't possibly name everything, but there was a lot there online that I had looked into prior, and then just for a few extra details, I went to the library and picked up some books. So that's that's it. Like I said, very short video, but uh, just so this was just for me to show uh, what I used for my research, what my sources were, just so there wasn't any um, unknown sources that I wasn't mentioning. It would suck if I accidentally plagiarized anything. Like I said, very short video, just to show. Um, Principally, my resource, um, my resources for research. 
Uh, I think that would have been important to show just in case that question came up or even if that didn't question didn't come up at the presentation I think that's important for people to know about what it is that I'm doing so these two books primarily if I pick up anything else I'll uh, let you know and of course my online resource um, I'll probably even show some more uh, sites that I used uh, in particular on the internet in another update video but for now that's just what I wanted to show you mainly because I have to return these in like four days so or three days actually I have to return those so I was kind of in a rush to make this video but uh, that's it for now and thank you for watching